Hello, I wanted to show you one of my hobbies when I'm outside and have a chance to pick up some little stones either down by the creek or uh, in the yard. I like to find nice smooth stones and draw a little picture on them and then I like to return them to the garden and uh, maybe put them around the flower bed or um, also this can be used to you know, decorate in your house or keep in your pocket for something that just feels good to have with you. So let me show you how I like to make a little owl that I would put around my flower bed. Okay, take a, a stone that has a little bit of length to it. It doesn't have to be perfectly round or anything else. It's just a piece of nature. And I start up by drawing a heart shape. I think the heart shape is a good way to start to make a face. Okay, let's draw two big round eyes. Okay, and in the middle of the eyes, I'd like to draw a little bit of a light spot. So I make a little area where it's not going to become black. It's just going to stay not colored for now. So you can use a Sharpie, a fine point Sharpie. If I use the big um, large rocks that you might find, I just use a larger Sharpie. Okay, so there we have basically two big eyes, nothing fancy as far as artwork is concerned. And somehow you gotta put in a little bit of a curve here for the nose. They have a nice curved beak. Okay, let's get the basic rest of the body here. We want some kind of feathers that are gonna join at the bottom. So, <laughs> make a chubby little body and these can be like feathery at the bottom sometimes you have little uh, imperfections in the stone and it's fun to build around them like here it almost looks like it could be feet okay now there's feathers and there's wings and I think in the middle of his body the feathers are a little bit different than the feathers on the wings. So let's start out by drawing two wings that are covering his body. <laughs> and on the wings, you might have little, what looks like little scallops. You could alternate them. And there's no right or wrong way to do this, but I just like to make a little scallopy edge that look like uh, layers of feathers. And we'll do that on this wing too. And you don't have to do it like this, but just an idea. Okay, then in the middle, the belly feathers they look a little bit different to me, I think. We'll just do little, it's kind of Zen Tangle type drawing here. You're repeating patterns <laughs> uh, and uh, establishing something that's going to be used over and over again. There's basically a little owl. Now let's dress him up a little bit. All along the, all around the eyeball there. I mean, think uh, the entangle is just repeated patterns and that's kind of what I'm doing here. Doing dots around and it kind of brings out the cute little eyes by making a circle of background. And then sometimes they have like a little bit of a plume or something on there. Don't be head. afraid to be whimsical with some of this stuff. So we got a little plume there. Now, I do have a white colored Sharpie. 
This is uh, actually oil paint. It has a ball in there to shake up the paint a little bit. And sometimes I use this to highlight on these It's a stones. great project to do with kids or adults who just want to relax a little bit. So use the white highlighter, the white pen, to bring out the white in the eyes. <laughs> and then maybe highlight around that little beak a little bit. <laughs> and then I think it looks cute to uh, just put a little white dot on the tips of those wings. It shows the iridescence that nature has in the owl's wings. <laughs> and then where you made the dots all around the face, you could put a white dot in between. Oh, that just brings out the, the light in the eyes now. How about that? Is that cute? Just put a little feathery look in the top notch there. So, <laughs> in a few minutes, you can doodle your way to a nice little garden stone. Um, and I usually will, will spray some triple thick glaze on there and then it's it'll hold up to the weather outside or if you put it in your pocket or it gets roughed up a little bit. But I'll, <clears throat> I usually coat them with the, white, with the um, glaze so that they're protected. So let me show you a uh, a couple other ones that I made just while you're while I have your attention. Here's one that's a little bigger. It's an owl too. Different kind of face that I felt like drawing that day. Nice red heart in the middle of this guy. Whoa. Here's a big daddy owl. And this really looks nice in the garden next to some tulips. <laughs> And it just brings out a little bit of funniness in our life that we all need to have. <laughs> but see, I kind of use the same kind of patterns. And a little uh, easier to see the white on the tips of the wings. And I hear this guy has a heart too. I like to use the hearts, not only in the shape of the face, but if you can work it into other parts of the design, it's really cute. And one more little guy here. They don't have to be big. <laughs> Look how tiny. <laughs> Yet they all have character. Once you put the eyes on them, they develop their own character. And you know, you could put this in a flower pot that you have in the house. You could keep this in your pocket for good luck. <laughs> you could give it as a gift. I just think they're cute little whimsical animals and making garden stones. You can put them all through your Use them your however garden. you like. And just want to show you another idea, something that takes almost no time at all and allows you to use your creativity. So go on out and find some stones in the yard or down by the river and doodle on them a little bit. See what you come up with and have some fun.